In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at how you can use Tinkercad to create 3D objects that can be printed on your 3D printer. To begin with, go to Tinkercad.com. Here you'll be able to take a look at either the features, the learn mode, and the gallery. Those are the primary areas you'll want to go to. If you don't already have an account, you want to click on the sign up button and then follow the prompts as it takes you through creating an account. Uh, this account will allow you to get access to the Autodesk materials and so you'll want to do that. Once you already have your account you'll be able to start creating objects. So let's take a look at how we might start at creating an object in Tinkercad. I'm going to use an umbrella stand support uh, if you think about it. Like right here we have an umbrella stand so you can see the pole that's going up through there and let's say, say we wanted to put a support around here like a collar of some type. And how would I design that? Well, once I'm in Tinkercad, what you'll see is that you'll have a gallery of objects that you could look through. But we're going to design our own. And so when we go to do that, on our home page, they'll have my recent designs. And you can actually see I've already made an umbrella stand part here. So what you want to take a look at is that you'll notice that this is a completely free account and that I can click on create new design. I will point out that there is a legacy design, that's the old model, and most of the new ones will now say beta, but that's probably where you want to start with because this will be the new style of Tinkercad. So I'm going to click on create new design and it will open up into our workspace. And here we're going to take a look around. So what you'll notice is that I have a work plane that's defined here. I can zoom in and zoom out using my mouse or my trackpad. So I have two fingers and I can zoom in and out of my trackpad. I can also um, change the grid. So if I hit edit grid, you'll notice that I could change the, um, the, the dimensions of the grid. I can also change it from millimeters to inches if you prefer. And in this particular case, I might want to change it to inches. And I just click on update the grid. And now you'll notice it's um, uh, the snap grid actually is in inches. You also may want to think about like how you want to create an object and what size it is. And I find myself changing the snap grid on, a, on different occasions. Sometimes I will turn it smaller or larger depending on how quickly I want to make objects. And you can even turn that snap grid off. What you'll also notice is that when you create an object, it's going to give it its own name. So Incredible Snicket, that happens to be the name here. Um, and so they'll get those, I would guess, cute little names. You can click on that and then you can type in um, Umbrella Stand Support 1 and now I'll have my, my account. Uh, so I can go back out by hitting my designs and then there are a whole bunch of buttons. So these buttons allow you to zoom in on the work plane in different places. So uh, you'll notice like if I click plus or minus, I can start to zoom in and out. Remember, I was also able to do that with the mouse. And then I can undo different things. And there are um, other commands that you can roll over to take a look at. Now, we'll explore more of these in our next tutorial. But for this one, I'm just going to simply grab a box, drag it out. And what you'll notice is that it has a whole bunch of um, classifications for the object. So you can see like the radius of the object or the length, the width, and the height. I can also drag this. You'll notice this is a one by one inch block and I can drag it. And remember my snap grid is set to one eighth of an inch. So each time I, I change this, it will change in that increment. Um, if I hold the shift key down, I can actually get it to be uh, rectangular or square, I should say, uh, as we get it. And so I, I now have my object here. Um, I also want you to notice that you can um, move this object around, that you can, it uh, looks like we can make this a little bit taller or shorter. Um, so there are those pieces. And then there's also this piece here that actually you can see it lifting off the canvas and it created a shadow down there. And so those will also um, allow you to um, move objects around in space. I'm going to hold the control button down and I will turn my plane so you can see that it is actually above 
that and I'm going to set it back down onto my grid and again holding the control button and my mouse I'm able to um, turn the grid around and take a look. So this is just the first step in getting you started in Tinkercad. In the next tutorial we'll take a look at how we can start building an object.